In this video, I'm going to show you how you can swap from the Hostinger website builder back over to WordPress. So first you want to go to Hostinger and log into your account. Once you've logged in, you should then see your website hosting. So you want to go to hosting at the top here, and that will then show you your website hosting with the amount of websites you've got added. Go ahead and click on manage, then click on free websites. And here you'll see what websites you have on your hosting. Alternatively, if you go back to hosting and just click on the free websites, you'll see it here as well. Now you can either choose your website from this list if you know which one you want to change, or if you go to websites, it will tell you what website is hosted with what. So you can see this is a WordPress website here, but these two are made with hosting a website builder, or this one is anyway. So I'm going to swap back this one to WordPress. If you've swapped it within a week, you'll actually be able to just change it straight back. Now, if you don't have this option here to swap to WordPress, what you need to do is go ahead and delete your website. Now, this is not going to delete any hosting plan. It's simply going to delete your website. So make sure you've got all of the data you want from the website. I'm assuming you just want to switch it anyway and completely start again. So click delete. And then it's going to delete your website, obviously. KnowledgeBaseOnline.com was deleted. Now, go ahead and click on Create or Migrate a Website. Skip this. It's then going to ask you to choose a domain. So skip and create an empty website. Then choose your domain, KnowledgeBaseHub.com. I think that was the one that we deleted. We can then click Select. Then go to your Control Panel and Manage Site. And from here, what you can do is you can simply install WordPress. So once you refresh it, you should have your new website appear. So now we're going to go to knowledgebasehub.com and from here, now we've re-added the domain. We can now go to auto installer and you can then simply select WordPress and then obviously enter in these details that are needed, then click next and then install WordPress. So now essentially what we've done is we've deleted the website, which was made with Hostinger's website builder. We've then reinstalled the website and then installed WordPress. So now we can go ahead and create this website with WordPress. If you go to preview my website, it should then open with WordPress and you can see this is the default WordPress theme. So that's how you do it. I hope that video did help you out.